your heart out, Hot Wheels. Disney Pixar expands the world of cars. You're watching Beyond the Trailer's review of Planes. Ah, oh, for flying out loud. For the first time, we have a crop duster in the race. Well, he's gonna die. Dusty, you're going up against the best racers in the world. I'm afraid of heights. That airplane needs some help. Y'all know that, right? Yeah. yeah! It ain't how fast you're flying, it's how you fly fast. You can fly a whole lot higher than you think. Now, you can hardly blame Disney Animation for what, at the very least, is a cash grab. Despite its incalculable cost to Pixar's reputation, Cars has been a merchandising goldmine for the company, and even the focus of their latest expansion to the California Adventure theme park. That's right, I said company, not studio, and that's because Disney doesn't just make movies. Yet movies are what drive all of their business, so it would be nice if Planes was a good movie. And maybe it will be, considering that the flying sequences in DreamWorks Animation's How to Train Your Dragon were one of the flick's best elements, perhaps an entire movie of 3D flying sequences will be fun to watch. And hey, it'll be the music of Mark Mancina, the composer on other high adrenaline adventures like Speed and Disney's Tarzan. And while John Cryer was originally going to voice Dusty Crophopper, a small town plane that dreams of being an air racer, he was replaced with the more hip comedian Dane Cook, a very similar choice to the star of Cars and Cars 2, Owen Wilson. And Disney has lined up a whole squadron of stars for the film, from John Cleese to Julia Louis-Dreyfus to Cedric the Entertainer, and more. But a star-studded cast didn't do much to help another recent tune hoping to tailgate Cars, Turbo. In fact, the DreamWorks animation pick is one of the flops of the summer, opening with just 21 million. See, this summer, it's not just Turbo and Dusty finding themselves in a heated race, but all animated movies. So far, Despicable Me 2 is out front in a marketplace overcrowded with the likes of Monsters University and Epic. But Disney is confident that planes will fly high. Not only did they give it the all-clear for a theatrical release after being originally intended as direct-to-video, but they're also planning a sequel, Planes, Fire and Rescue, for next year. But does planes really have that kind of gas in the tank? This movie is so boring. Uh, wow. Uh, I didn't expect to like it because I am not a fan of Cars 1 or 2. Uh, I thought Cars 1 was passable, and Cars 2 I wanted to leave the theater. But uh, the people I was with wanted to stay uh, because, you know, they're colorful, pretty films. So that's why I'm reluctant to just completely uh, pan this film because there might be some people out there who will enjoy it, uh, especially if you, liked car if you liked Cars 2. You know, roll the dice here, why not? But I would be hard-pressed if anybody actually really did enjoy it. Because I think that while the two Cars films, uh, I can't believe I'm saying this, uh, were similar, they were a little more sophisticated. Because they had A and B storylines. Planes is just a straight A storyline. It's just a racing movie about a, a plane trying to prove itself. And while that's a nice message, uh, to not have that B storyline, you know, in the first film of Lightning McQueen, uh, you know, tr appreciating life in the slow life in the slow lane at Radiator Springs, uh, and then also in the second one, I guess it was uh, Lightning McQueen coming to better appreciate his friend Tomater. Uh, here, they ha they have attempts to try and have B storylines, but they never get off the ground. And I had hoped that the visuals of this film would save it, but I have to say they were really, really pedestrian. They were very, very television, not worthy of the big screen at all. Uh, I thought the 3D did not create really exciting, compelling flying sequences. Uh, you know, and, and I don't think the I don't think the, the camera work was used very well to that effect. Uh, one good thing about the film, though, was it had good voice work. I was really impressed uh, with a lot of the uh, character development across the board. I think actors did what they could with what they had, and they really gave it their all. I think the standouts were Dane Cook. He really sold some emotional scenes impressively for Dane Cook. You know, you wouldn't think he could do that, but he really was good. Terry Hatcher was excellent as Dottie, his mechanic, uh, and also I thought that. Um, uh, who was, oh yeah, Sinbad. Sinbad was pretty good as kind of like this little c car, just like Dottie. He's like kind of like one of the officials at the uh, Wings Around the World race that Dusty wants to compete in. So those guys were good. And these little cars, by the way, that uh, Terry Hatcher and Sinbad voiced, they at least answered one of my ongoing questions about the Cars universe is who builds all this stuff? Uh, these little cars have like, um, like forklifts. They use the forklifts kind of to give them some more dexterity. So that was kind of interesting. Oh, and by the way, there is just a huge product placement smack in the middle of this movie for American Airlines, which I thought was kind of weird. And I wouldn't have known it was for American Airlines if before the movie played there hadn't been an ad for planes with American Airlines talking about how American Airlines had new branding and a new logo. So when it showed up in the movie, very obviously, 
I was like, oh, oh yeah, uh, that's that's huge for American, but yet I think somewhat not effective if I hadn't seen that commercial beforehand. Oh, that that was another good thing about the movie. I think that it really highlighted where planes are used in real life, you know, in rescue. Uh, you know, fight, uh, fighter jets. You know, the military plays a big role here, deservedly so. Uh, and also, there there was some, there was some dark stuff with military planes in the military, particularly during World War II. Uh, and as someone who's visited the Intrepid here in New York uh, and seen some of the stories that about you know aerial warfare in World War II, it deserves the attention. And I, maybe this is a nice introduction for families uh, to to tell kids about what happened there. Uh, but I really can't recommend this movie. I mean, I guess that th those would be nice things if you happen to go. But if you want to see a movie about racing, go see Turbo if it's still playing in a theater near you. I think that's a far superior film. Uh, but, you know, I'm just... I, I guess they're going to make Planes, Fire, and Rescue. They've already uh, greenlit it. But uh, the Cars franchise continues to confound me and why it exists. So uh, write down below if you've seen Planes. Uh, are you a Cars fan? Did that fandom carry over into Planes? What am I missing if you appreciated the film and I didn't? What, what didn't I understand about its enjoyment factor? Uh, write your thoughts down below. Thanks for coming to be on the trailer for the latest movie reviews and movie news and trailer reviews. You, and also a lot of interviews with cast. A lot came out this week for The Butler, um, Prince Avalanche, and Girl Most Likely with Kristen Wiig. So I hope you'll check some of those out as well right now.